Hello guys, it's um a reason from Landing Productions here and today I'll be showing you how to make a color changing brick. So this is what you do. First, you create a part like this. Now I have a part right here, then you can you create a script and drag it over in the part. So like this to here. Like that. Then do what I do. Yeah, then do what I do. And you can learn. So local part equals screwed up here. That's basically saying a local part local the part is the script's parent. The script's parents right now is part. So it's basically saying part. And then you can just do this. It's just a fancy way I like to do it. You can do it whatever way you want to do. And so function y then that might then I'll wait to repeat until nil um part dot print color equals color dot random. So if you write this, this is means this is some advanced some advanced scripting, so don't write this. I want you to do this we'll do what what we do then remove outfit while we do part of brick color equals brick color dot random end like this. So I just like to do core time that resume and all of this stuff. And uh, so yeah, let's check it out. You see how colorful this script is? Like like you can also scale it and stuff. Do you see how colorful this brick is? It's gonna be seizure, seizure, seizure. Yeah. Now, you can also make it like you can also do this and the repeat wait button thing. You can make it so it waits 10, it waits one second, then changes like this one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, like that. Or you can move the weight to make it look like a C here. Here, and then you make it, yeah, so that's. That's the second part of the scripting tutorials, and yeah, thanks for watching, see ya later guys.